Hey guys, I wanted to share a concept with you I drew up, and it's a, I call it a dig follow concept, and I drew up some different alignments for it. First one is out of the empty two tight end wing formation with X and Z stacked. Now either X and Z can do either route, they can switch off, so they can do a, the dig wheel or the streak dig combo. Now H is going to run a drag route. What he's doing, he's cutting inside underneath that linebacker there and he's trying to get just behind the middle backers. And about 8 to 12 yards, that's where he starts to come across on an in drag. Now why? He's going to run up the seam. What he's doing, he's clearing out. Now, if you can hit H underneath, I guarantee you the guy who's going to be covering Y is going to try and attack H on that crossing route. And when he does, you should be able to pop that ball over to Y on the streak seam. Now, the wing back, he's going to come in motion. And he's going to be setting up for a deep swing pass. Now, as you see here, he's going to be following Z's rotation on the wheel. It's basically an endless loop, is what I call I'll call it the merry-go-round concept, is what it is. Now, the three, three receiver look with a tight end. X is going to take an outside release streak. Z is going to run the 12 to 15 yard in dig route. Wing is going to be running across. Y is up the seam. And the B back is going to be running a swing route. He attacks the midpoint between X and Z's alignment. That's where he runs to since it's a trips. It's a five step drop for the quarterback. Now here's out of empty. You have your Y. In this case, he's doing the deep orbit motion swing. Wing is going to be running the cross. Wing, excuse me, H is going to be running the dig in. X and Z are taking out right outside release streak paths. Now, here's how it would look against a cover two look. As you see here, this is the trips with a tight end look. As you see here, it can open up a window against cover two because strong safety is deep and it's two alignment. Therefore, you can have an easy attack point I'm trying to hit that dig behind the crossing route. Now, another look for it is out of a quads stack with a tight end. Now, the front three receivers you can always switch route assignments with them. Number four is, ma is a mandatory uh, orbit return swing pass. So he's going to be doing the same thing, but those front three receivers can switch off and run the different routes because it's going to be a streak, a in, and a cross. All three of those guys can switch. So it creates a hazard for the defense to deal with if you can switch off three receivers on the stack. Now, that's a very effective concept to utilize on any level of football. And I hope you guys can put it to good use, and as always, keep coaching.